Hello Math Tusias! Welcome sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin is about the other way or yung ibang way to divide polynomial. Ito yung synthetic division. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung long division, meron po tayong video dyan. I-search nyo lang siya at malalaman nyo kung paano ito gawin. Very long siya, kaya isi-save tayo ng synthetic division kasi feeling ko mas magugustuhan nyo ito. Ano ba yung synthetic division? Synthetic division is a shorthand. So, ito ang ating savior kasi shorthand method siya. Mas maikling paraan ng dividing of polynomial by linear, by a linear binomial. So, uh, ito ay, kung ang long division ay masyadong mahaba, ito naman ay yung pinaiksing version niya. By using only the coefficients. So, ang ginagamit lang natin dito, coefficients. Kung i-compare natin kasi siya sa long division, sa long division, kasama yung mga literal coefficients. Now, dito, ang kailangan lang natin is numerical coefficients. For synthetic division to work, para to gumana, the polynomial must be written in standard form. So, comparing it to... Uh, long division, katulad nila o katulad niya, dapat naka-standard form din siya. Pag sinabing standard form, dapat decreasing order yung mga exponents. Ha? Hindi pwede yung x squared mauuna kay x cubed or si x, yung degree of 1, mauuna kay x squared. Dapat standard form, sunod-sunod. Using 0... And coefficient for any missing number. So, kailangan din pag may missing number, you use zero. Same with long division. Okay, let's start. Okay, we have x squared minus 7x plus 10 divided by x minus 5. So, paano ba natin siya i-divide using synthetic division? Okay, steps natin. Step number 1, write the numerical coefficients in one row. So, dapat nasa one row siya. At yung uh, kailangan natin ay yung mga numerical coefficients lang. So, if there is a missing term, write 0 to represent that missing term. So, dapat ma-check natin kung meron bang missing term. Kasi kapag hindi nyo siya na-represent ng 0, magiging mali yung sagot nyo. And then, write the test as 0 at the left. So, ito pinakamahalaga din ito. Ha? Okay, so, kailangan muna natin i-check kung nasa standard form ba yung given natin. Meaning to say, dapat yung exponents niya is arranged from highest exponent to the lowest exponent. Okay, since okay naman siya, squared, and then degree of 1, tas constant, naka-arrange na siya properly. So, we can now start. Okay, get the numerical coefficient. The coefficient of this or the numerical coefficient of this is 1. Yung invisible 1 natin. So, we write 1. And then, negative 7. Kasama natin, sinusulat yung sign ha. So, we have here negative 7. And then, positive 10. Okay, and then, ang kailangan natin ay yung test 0. Paano ba natin kinukuha yung test 0? Uh, para lang yung ganito, x minus 5 equals to 0. I-equate lang natin siya into 0. So, ito, ililipat natin sa kabila, magiging x equals 5. Or kung kaya nyo naman siyang mental, ano ba yung number na kapag minus mo yung 5, 0 ang magiging sagot. Obviously, it's 5. Or, yung pinakamadaling paraan pa, ay kunin mo lang yung inverse nito or yung additive inverse nito. Ha? Ito, kasama yung sign. So, from negative 5, magiging positive 5 siya. So, ang, kung ang given mo ay positive 10, magiging negative 10 siya. Yun yung magiging test 0 natin. So, yung test 0, naka-isolate yan ha, na ganyan. So, this is now 5. Okay, tapos mag-drawing ka ng isang linya. Now, carry down the first term. So, yung unang-una, bring down lang to, ha? Yung unang-unang term, bring down lang siya. So, 1. Okay, next. Pagkatapos natin dyan, multiply by the test 0. This one, yung na-bring down natin, should be multiplied by our test 0. So, 1 times 5 is 5. And then, add to the second column. So, ilalagay natin siya dito sa second column. And then, add down the column. Kailangan i-add natin siya. So, plus 
negative 7 plus 5 dahil sila ay different sign. We cannot add. So, isasubtract natin sila. 7 and 5 is 2. Sino ba mas malaki? Si 7 or si 5? Si 7 kaya magiging negative 2. And then, multiply the sum in the second column. Ito daw, multiply natin siya by the test 0. So, since iba yung ginamit kong given dito at hindi ko siya na-edit, wait lang, tanggalin natin to para hindi kayo malito. Write the product on the... Oh, yan. Okay, so, ang gagawin na natin, nasa na tayo? Wait Kailangan daw i-multiply natin. Multiply the sum in the second column. Ito daw yun, yung second column, yung sum dito. So, negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. So, ilalagay naman natin siya dito. Sa third column. Write the product on the third column, then add again. 10 plus negative 10, since sila ay different sign again, so we have it. Subtraction, kaya magiging 0 na. Repeat the steps for the next column until you reach the last column. Since okay na tayo dito, ang remainder natin is 0. So, our final answer here is P of X over D of X is equal to, since second degree yung ating uh, device, uh, dividend, yung sagot natin, minus 1. Okay? So, 2 minus 1, ibig sabihin, first degree yung answer natin. So, this will be x lang siya. Okay, minus 2. Since 0 ang remainder natin, you, you don't need to write it kasi alam naman mag-plus ka lang ng 0 dyan. So, ang final answer natin is this one. O, ba Mas madali kesa dun sa kanina. So, let's try another example. So, we have here 2x cubed minus 18x minus 45 plus 5x squared. So, kung mapapansin nyo, wala nga siyang missing term pero hindi ito naka-arrange properly. So, i-arrange muna natin to by descending order of exponents. So, we have here 2x cubed. Dapat mauna to kesa dito. So, plus... 5x squared and then minus 18x minus 45. Okay, divided by x plus 5. So, we get the coefficients. Unang gagawin, kailangan masulat natin yung mga coefficients ng isang uh, row lang. Okay, so we have here 2 and then 5 and then negative 18. And then, negative 45. Okay, and then we get the test 0. Ano ang test 0 natin? Kung yan ay x plus 5, di ba sinabi ko pinakamadaling paraan is kunin mo yung kabaliktara nito. Kung positive 5 to, ang test 0 mo magiging negative 5. Okay, and then we start. Unang-una, kailangan natin, anong gawin dito? Bring down lang siya. Isulat sa baba. So, 2. And then, 2, i-multiply sa test 0, 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. And then, we add 5 plus negative 10 is negative 5. Okay, itong sum na to, kailangan i-multiply ulit dun sa test 0. So, magiging negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. Okay, now, negative 18 plus 25 kasi kailangan i-add natin sila pero dahil different sign sila. So, magiging subtraction sila kaya magiging 7 to. And then, 7 times negative 5 is negative 35. So, negative 45 plus negative 35 is negative 80. So, itong negative 80 is our re remainder. So, this time, may remainder tayo. So, lagyan ko lang ng kulay kung ano yung nangyayari, ha? Para guided kayo. So, ang una natin ginawa, wait lang, una natin ginawa, nag-bring down tayo, ba? Bring down, and then multiply dito. And then add dito, and then yung sagot, multiply ulit doon. Okay, ganun yung nagiging procedure ha. Tapos, yung sagot, i-add ulit. Tapos, multiply ulit doon. Tapos, add ulit. 
Okay? Tapos kung hindi pa ito yung last, imumultiply mo ulit doon. Pero dahil ito na yung last, okay na. So, add, then multiply test 0, add, multiply test 0, add, multiply test 0. Okay? So, yun yung nagiging procedure natin. So, our final answer here will be, wait, P of X over D of X is equal to, tignan natin ang ating dividend ay X cubed. So, ang ating final answer should be minus 1 of our ano, dividend. Minus 1 ng exponents or less ng 1 degree ng ating dividend. So, X cubed to, kaya tayo ay magiging X squared. Ang coefficient ng X squared natin ay ito. So, 2X squared minus 5X, sunod-sunod na yan, squared, and then X, plus 7, this one, minus 80, dahil remainder yan, yung divisor natin na ito, isusulat natin sa baba. X plus 5. Okay. And then, for our last example, we have here negative x squared plus 2x cubed plus 25 divided by x minus 3. Obviously, hindi siya naka-arrange naka at meron siyang missing term. So, kailangan natin itong ayusin muna bago tayo mag-synthetic division. So, ang una dapat dyan ay 2x raised to 3 minus eto, x squared. Missing yung deg first degree natin, kaya magiging plus 0x siya, di ba? Kailangan i-replace ng 0 plus 25 divided by our divisor here is x minus 3. And then, synthetic division na. Kunin natin yung mga coefficients nito. We have 2. This is negative 1. Negative 1, 0, and then 25. Ano ang test 0 natin dyan? Since this is x minus 3, negative 3, kaya ang test 0 natin, yung kabaliktaran niya. So, that will be positive 3. Okay, first step, bring down. Ha, hindi ka pa pwedeng mag-multiply kasi yung minumultiply mo lang yung mga nandito sa baba. So, bring down natin 2. Since nandito na siya, we can multiply. 2 times 3 is 6. And then, addition. Yung pa, column uh, natin ay addition. So, negative 6 plus, ano, uh, negative 1 plus 6 is a 5. And then, ito, multiply ulit doon. Balik siya doon. 5 times 3 is 15. And then, addition ulit. 0 plus 15 is 15. So, since nandito na naman siya, kailangan natin i-multiply ulit. 15 times uh, 3 is a 45. And then, we add 25 plus 45 is what? 0, carry 170. Okay? So, our final answer will be, since again, ito ay nasa cubic, or ang highest exponent niya ay 3, ang magiging highest exponent natin dito ay x squared, kasi minus 1 ng exponent ng dividend. Okay? So, we will have here p of x over d of x is equal to 2x squared plus 5x plus 15. Okay, plus, ito ay remainder, ha? R natin siya, 70 over, sorry, over our divisor, x minus 3. So, ayun na. Ito na yung final answer natin. So, sobrang bilis kapag synthetic division. Wala ka na masyadong dapat isulat. Ops! Huwag kalimutang mag-like, comment, and share. Ano sa tingin nyo? Ano ang mas madali? Long division or synthetic division? I-comment ito sa ating comment section. At kung bago ka pa lang sa ating YouTube channel, huwag kalimutang pindutin ang subscribe button. Sige, pindutin mo na. Huwag ka nang mahiya, pindutin mo na yan. At ang ating notification bell, napindot mo na? Para lagi kang updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Let's spread the love of math! Thank you and bye!